What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about an app called Good Guardians. It's right there, it's a free app from Samsung. You've probably heard and know about Goodlock, but what about Good Guardians? Well, first of all, Good Guardians, the app itself, has been renamed. It used to be called the Samsung uh, Galaxy Labs app, so now it's called Good Guardians. I actually like Galaxy Labs app better. Good Guardians, eh, okay. It's guarding uh, your phone in different ways, but um, yeah, I don't know, whatever. That's the new name, Good Guardians. If you want to download it, you need to go into your Galaxy store. So find the Galaxy store on your Samsung Galaxy phone and then search for Good Guardians and it should pop right up. Good Guardians. There you go, the new name of Galaxy Labs. Here it is, download it and install it. It works very similar to the way that Goodlock works, meaning that once you download the app, you have to open it and you have all these different modules inside that you can download and install. Now, I've previously kind of covered this in the past last year and I wanted to recover it because as a new name and seemingly I believe there's some uh, a couple of new features in here if I'm not mistaken as well. So that's why we're kind of going through it again. So if this is like, hey, you already did this video, yes and no. But with that said, let's kind of jump through these. So I've already downloaded all the modules inside and if you're curious what each one does and if you want to see more information about these, just hit the little store or a little, it looks like a little store to me anyways. And Battery Tracker, the description of it says, lets you know the usage of applications within a day or a week in your selected time from now on, tracking the most battery consuming elements to it is easier than ever. So basically it tracks your usage of your battery life and it allows you, I'm just gonna open it. And if you wanna open these from the module page, let me go back into it. Very simple, you can just tap on it and it opens right in. And it shows me exactly what's going on with my battery life. So I can check my battery life here and see how it's gone. Starting at 100, the yellow is when the screen was on. And it tells me what my most used apps are so far. I believe this is just for, yeah, last within the last 24 hours. So YouTube has been my most used app. I use 6%. If I go into, where is that? Uh, not battery usage. I want down here. It's last seven days. So within the last seven days, I've used 139% of my battery usage, which I don't know what's more than 100, but whatever, has been YouTube. Uh, probably because I use it when I'm pl I have it plugged in and I'm using it when I'm sleeping. That's, I usually go to YouTube, go to I, I work on YouTube and I go to sleep to YouTube as well. So you got Instagram, Chrome. Google Play services, my Eufy security. So that's like stuff that's been using the most of my battery on here. And you can see it shows how much battery basically of, of usage has been over 100% on Wednesday. And most, you know, some days it's over 100% probably because I have had the phone charging and I'm using the, the display at the same time. You can also see the yellow part, how much of that uh, screen on time has been using the battery as well. The next one is Battery Guardian, and we'll go to the little Play Store icon, or Google Play Store icon, and we'll read a little bit about that. This one says, Battery Guardian detects bad apps behavior and does not allow them running on your device. We are going to add more protections to your battery health. So let's open this one up and see what this is all about. So you can do app power saving. If you have that turned on, that's gonna optimize your battery draining apps to extend your battery life. Now you can turn that on and off obviously if you want and it kind of just does what it says. Screen power saving, optimize the battery usage of your display. If you tap on that and you turn it on, I have it off currently, it says when the screen is not used, extra dim mode quickly and keep dim until screen timeout. So basically it kind of plays with your screen so that ultimately it doesn't use too much battery life on it. Um, dimming it at the proper time so it doesn't really affect you all that much. Now you can turn it on, see if it works better for you or it works in, in ways that you know it doesn't really affect you. And when you do turn it on, it allows you to uh, select it for certain apps as well. Power saving during bedtime. You can extend the battery life by automatically optimizing and limiting performance during setup. So if I, if I turn that on, I can set, oh, yeah, there we go. I can set my bedtime, so automatically it's going to extend my battery life by automatically optimizing and limiting performance during sleep, but it doesn't do it automatically. I wish it kind of did like, hey, you know, is Greg sleeping? He hasn't touched his phone in 25 minutes and it's past 10 a.m., 10 p.m. 
I wish at that point it would do it rather than just automatically turning on at a certain time, uh, even if I'm using it, but it is something you might want to do. Um, setting it for certain hours, you can set it so that your battery is not used so much and that you can get you know, potentially longer battery life. And then lastly, extend battery life. You can extend battery life by optimizing settings that use a lot of battery power. So if you go in here, you can, for instance, you can do motion smoothness, get longer battery life with a 60 hertz screen refresh rate, and you can turn that on. You can turn on dark mode. You can change your brightness to 20%. I don't know why you'd want to extend motion brightness. Motion smooth this off. That's one of the best things. Screen timeout, you can change that. Mobile hotspot to turn it off. Always on display to save power. You can turn that kind of stuff off. So, you know, there's a bunch of battery guardian things in here. If you're really, really concerned with controlling your battery life and in a somewhat easy fashion, this is going to be a great uh, app for you. Next up, we have Galaxy App Booster. I'll be in line for the booster. Here we go. This one allows you to transfer executable files of each app to boost them up. Sounds kind of confusing, right? It does to me anyway. So when we open this up, you can come in here and you can optimize your battery life. The one key thing they tell you, and let me see, I think it says it right here. It says you, we, they suggest you to run the Galaxy App Booster right after an OS upgrade and after once per week to maximize performance. So basically what you would do is just open this app, hit optimize now, and you can see you can get potentially up to 15% better, uh, better performance and potentially 15% more runtime on your phone. Or if you don't want to optimize all your apps, what you can do is only optimize applications used in the past 30 days. So you can check that and then hit allow and go through the steps of, of turning that on in there. Um, again, to just get better performance on your phone if you want. Next up is Thermal Guardian. This one right here kind of shows you What's CP, what, what kind of CPU usage and the temperatures you've been getting on your phone. You can set different thermal thresholds so that basically the phone will kind of tone down certain things when you're using it so it doesn't get hot or the performance will go down. Uh, if you're worried about it using too much battery, you can restrict apps from here if you needed to. You can get, they get tips in here. But ultimately, if you go down to additional settings, you can come in here and easily set it so that it limits CPU boosting when your phone's heating up. You can turn it on to decrease in maximum brightness when heating. You can apply standard motion smoothness when heating, and you can turn off 5G if the data usage is low when the screen is on. So if you're not using a ton of data, uh, you can turn, click on that and it turn off 5G. I believe that would even work for AT&T phones, which is kind of interesting because with AT&T, we don't have a way of turning off 5G. A lot of other carriers do, some don't but this might be a cool way to turn off 5G if you're not using a lot of data. It's not gonna turn it off all the time, but if you're not using a lot of data, it will turn it off. Next up is Memory Guardian. I must have said Memory Guardian. Memory Guardian says, it. Memory Guardian offers a way to track device performance based on memory usage and provide function to clean up memory. Optimized memory will help increase device performance. Let's open this one up and you will see after this finally, finally opens up that you can clean out what you have running currently. Just click that and it basically closes your apps. You can exclude certain apps so that they basically won't close or are, are not controlled by Memory Guardian. You can check your history of how you've uh, used Memory Guardian, how, it's, how much memory it's using. You can customize it. And when you click these, you can see Memory Guardian you can work at, set it as default or if you click it, click in between these different things, it says, it tells you exactly what it does. So for quick switching mode, it keeps more apps in the background when mo uh, mo using the previously used apps again. It is more likely to run with the last stable of the app, not starting from the beginning. And you can also do speed up top app mode, which cleans up memory to secure empty space on a regular basis when running on um, an app that uses a lot of memory, it will help to prevent slowing down due to memory loads. It is recommended if you use the game frequently or use a small number of apps. Uh, so you probably wouldn't want to use this if you're an app heavy user. You'd either want to set it to default or quick switching mode. Lastly, Media File Guardian. This one says the following. It says the memory gu Media Guardian offers a way to delete hidden files for edited versions. It provides a solution to clean media files that have stopped 
working. And what you can do basically is just come in here and see what apps are kind of hidden behind the background. If they're, maybe they're hidden somewhere and you can see what's going on with it. You know, that's the uh, date, that's the name of the file. You can hit edit. You can change the date since the date is missing on this. So we'll just hit apply to that. And it should leave, actually this file is no longer shown in the list. So we're gonna hit exit. And it kind of just gives you a background of files that maybe either you wanted to delete or that are just missing some information that you can ultimately add that information to. There you guys go, that is the Good Guardians app. Kind of interesting, kind of ton of extra stuff built into the Samsung software that you can come in here and uh, mend, mend your fences with and change all your stuff. So there you guys go, have a great day. We'll see you down the road.